during the uh, the morning as well. So, to, uh, the, the <laughs> I had, I've had one of those twenty four hours again, but that's okay. I'm re- I'm actually fired up. I couldn't wait to get here. I was up really really extra early today, but I lost my key fab to my truck. So if anybody finds my key t- key fab, uh, let me know. But that's all right. So uh, it's always something, isn't it? Because every day it's going to be something a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. So the State of the Union is coming. <clears throat> and my question is, what do you expect from it? Lies, exaggeration, deceit. Do you expect to be inspired? Do you, ins- do you expect Joe Biden to lift you up? Elevate you. Make you proud to be an American. It's funny when the Democrats all got together and pushed hard and ousted Trump by all means necessary. They did it because they, well, one of the reasons why they did it was because they felt the rest of the world didn't like what we had become. That America first mentality sent us down the wrong path. And as I sit here today, on the 7th day of February, I can't think anything is further from the truth. I think if we were ever a laughing stock, it's now. When the rest of the planet looks at us and they see what we become, weaker, more indecisive, pathetic almost in some cases, that aspiration of total freedom has begun to evaporate like boiling water. So what do I expect from the State of the Union? Not much. Not much. And I don't want to be Debbie Downer because I still, still think the greatness of America is still within each and every one of us. There is a freedom. It's inherent. It was and is given to us, beholden, by God. Never forget that. Never forget also the sacrifices and struggles of our forefathers. And we say our forefathers legitimately. The men that founded this country, they run through your veins. Their blood runs through your veins. The men who stood up against tyranny, yes. Never forget that. You're part of that. They battled insurmountable odds to establish this amazing country. Life, liberty, equality, justice, where you could flourish. Their unwavering commitment to ideals that had never before been seen on the planet. You know, really the ideals of absolute freedom. It set America apart, a beacon of hope where people just wanted to get here, just any way possible. Let's get here. The rest of the world admired us. The rest of the world wanted to be us. And even to, to even today, when we're a shadow of what we've been in the past, people still come here by the thousands, millions actually, to try to forge a better life, which shows you how bad it can be everywhere else. We need to be an inspiration to the rest of the world. Always. Without that, we're lost. We're finished. It's over. America is the land of opportunity. Where dreams come true, ambitions can be realized, no matter where you come from, your background, your beliefs, how, how poor you were when you started, how, how adva- advanced you were, whether you were wealthy when you began. You always, if you work hard, you can make it. If you have determination, that means blacks, whites, 
Jews, Asians, Italians, Germans, transgenders, gays, atheists, Catholics, Mexicans, Hindus, anyone, anyone can immigrate here, escape whatever persecution that follows you here and chase the American dream. Our economy has been driven by this entrepreneurial spirit, unlike anywhere else. Our citizens are the strongest in the world. The strongest, providing jobs and a life and opportunity and dreams for millions of people for over 200 years. Without this country, tyrants and dictators would rule everywhere. The landscape would be completely different. We do so many things or have done so many things to better the lives of everybody on the planet. And yet, as I sit here today on the seventh day of February, most of America feels like we're headed in the wrong direction. Leadership has failed us again. Again. Weak leadership. Behind this microphone I get, and I know maybe you feel, man, he, he said this before in the past. I have. Many times. Leadership has failed us. It continues to fail us. Maybe because our education system is cracked, indoctrinating children into a woke agenda, creating an entire generation of global race-baiting pacifists. Maybe that's where we are right now. Maybe we need to get out of that mud, spin the wheels, put it in low gear, figure out a way to overcome this. We do have that innovative spirit within us. Think about the countless breakthroughs, the amazing things we've created, science, medicine, technology, improves your everyday life. Look around you right now, wherever you might be, your kitchen, your bathroom, driving your car. All things created, for the most part, by the minds and the brilliance of Americans. Because you were allowed this entrepreneurial spirit, this freedom. That other places, they, they don't get that same opportunity. That's what sets us apart from other nations. It's not just economical and, and technical and wealth and, and that. It's, it's the freedom to hold on to what you've built. To call it yours, your property rights. That's what separates us. That and running through your veins the blood of the forefathers that created this nation. Those heroes. You enjoy today freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, right to bear arms, etc., 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 because great men came before you and stood up and said, that's enough. That's not how we want to live. So when the State of the Union hits you, will you be inspired? Will you want to follow Joe Biden into the mouth of hell? to fight back the evils that this world has produced? Chances are no, because while you watch Joe Biden try to wax poetic about what he's accomplished, there's a little voice in your head telling you, eh, not only do I not believe he's capable of leading the charge into hell, there's a little piece of me that thinks he probably actually helped create it. But the freedoms that we enjoy, they're the cornerstone of our democracy and this republic. And they've allowed us to express ourselves. They allow me to be behind this microphone every day. They allow you to call into this station or write a letter to the editor or get on the street corner and hold a sign. 
you can worship, you can gather with your fellow citizens. You're free. And it's not just a freedom, it's not just a concept. It's a way of life. It allows you to pursue your passions, your dreams. Right? You can pursue all the things that you wanted since you were a child. If you have the desire and the work ethic and the moxie and the grit, you can do whatever you want. You live free from the boot of oppression because the people that have come before you fought for it are you ready to fight for it it's what makes us truly great when we are free we are at our best to create we can overcome anything we have overcome everything and through maybe divine intervention those four founding fathers got together and created this amazing country we should celebrate it. We should celebrate this country. And I, I know I'm at fault with this, looking uh, out at what we see every single day with the news. And you get a little bit depressed because you're like, how did we get here? How are we here? But we should celebrate the greatness that we are. And remember that freedom is not free. And it requires us to stay vigilant and passionate about it, not take it for granted. Work together as Americans in this land of opportunity. Somehow figure out a way because half of this country right now feels differently than I feel. And we got to figure out a way either to bring them along somehow or fix them. We should be grateful of the gift of freedom. I, I mean, I'm, I am. I am grateful. I'm skeptical, but I'm definitely grateful. All right, 27 minutes after the hour of uh, 6 o'clock. That's how we begin on this uh, what is today. Today's a Tuesday, right? Did we already do that? We already went through all that stuff, I believe. All right. I'm looking for uh, something very, very important, but I cannot find it. Anyway, all right, let's, let's do this. All right, we'll come right back, everybody. It's 27 minutes after the hour, like I said, 6 o'clock. Uh, we'll have a little rip and read segment here next. We'll do that. And uh, I, I, like, Every time I want to do a rip and read, I just can't get through all the stuff I have here. A lot of stuff. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. It's 94.9 News Now, Stimulating Talk. Four nine news now. 